finally live um man i wonder how many dislikes is this live stream gonna get from all the haters i know they're gonna be coming into my live stream bashing it any moment soon and that's gonna be fun anyways hello everyone good evening good afternoon good morning wherever you may live or good night i don't know where you are right now um it is what time is it here where i live i need to check Six nineteen. all right not bad i wanted to do this as a morning live stream which was like at nine in the morning for me but i didn't because um we're repainting my house we're remodeling a lot of stuff so all day i've been painting and stuff so um maybe that's why you'll see like i have i mean some of the paint washed off right but i have like a little bit bits of paint on my hands because i've been painting the living room i say there's more paint right there um we're getting new couches we're repainting the whole living room a new color so yeah if um if you guys were wondering like I mean, hopefully I'm not too late. I think this is a good time to start either way. Yeah, it's 6.20 p.m. It's not bad. But yeah, I was repainting and stuff, helping my dad out. It's faster when you have two people working together. Anyways, um, hello everyone who's just arriving. We got 51 people so far. Uh, I hope you guys, you guys are having a good day today. Um, I did want to do like a late night talk with PCP at the beginning of the stream. But I know a lot of people probably want to see the haul that i have instead first and maybe we'll do the late night talk with pcp at the very end because trust me i got lots of stuff to talk about on the computer as well but i also have so much stuff to talk about here as well on the table basically everything you see on the table is my scores from ebay and from the flea market and i think this is probably my biggest co not collection haul ever my biggest haul ever because it's mostly Lightning McQueen stuff, as you can see. There you can get a 360 of what you're in for tonight. Uh, yeah, there's a few other characters, but mostly McQueen stuff. I think I have a problem. No kidding. Um, but yeah, what, what was I going to say? I completely went blank. Oh yeah, so um, May 31st, the last day of the month, monthly unboxing. Um... Stay tuned for the Cars 15th anniversary, June 9th. I'll be releasing something very special that day. I'm not going to say what it is, but um, yeah, I'll be doing something special that day. Anyways, whatever. Alrighty, so let's get started with the live stream. We'll start with the smaller stuff and then we'll work ourselves up to the bigger stuff, the thicker stuff. Alrighty, we're going to start down here at the bottom. Just got to adjust this. There we go. All right, so first... I don't think many people know this, but I like collecting Disney Parks pins. And there's some new ones that were released for the 15th anniversary of Cars. Um, I haven't ordered them. Probably going to have to get them on eBay, of course, because I don't live in California anymore, so I can't just go to the parks. Um, but yeah, these are from 2018 from Pixar Fest. There was uh, Cruiser Mirrors, McQueen, Mater, and Storm. And these were limited to 1,500. Made in China, and these were 30 bucks at the parks. Very nice. Um... I don't know how you're supposed to review pins, so I, I guess that's it for that. And then there's this one right here. This one's really nice. M mainly I got it because of the piston cup right there. You know me. And there's the back right there. Annual pass holder exclusive limited edition of 3000. And you open it up, you got Lightning McQueen inside. And it closes up. All right, the next one is from Hollywood Studios. And it's Lightning McQueen in this little thing right here. Interesting. It's a nice little pin. I like it. Alrighty, what else do we have here? Oh, this one right here is one of my favorites. Car Reader, March 6th. Hmm, and then it says Kachow. Nice. Limited edition as well of 750 What's up, bruh? I bought these all on eBay not knowing they were special edition of some sort. This was limited edition. The others were special editions also. That's weird. There's this one right here from 2006. It's a little flag with the Piston Cup and McQueen. That's really nice. I really like this one as well. Let me guess, limited edition as well? Yup. Somehow. <laughs> I didn't plan this. I'm just literally seeing this now. 250? Huh. This is a lot more rare than I thought then. Oh, okay. Um. Wow, I didn't expect that. Man, I've been behind on Disney pins. I haven't purchased Disney pins in a while. So I thought, you know what, to kind of, I guess, in a quote-unquote kick back on doing so, like collecting pins, I was like, I'll order some Cars ones, show them to my fans, and ask what they think about them, you know, 
because why not? I like pins. Maybe share it with them. Maybe they'll get into it too. Anyways, enough yapping. Okay, so this was an interesting one. So you might be thinking, hey, PCP, you have this, and why'd you take it out of the box? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, look. I saw this on eBay, right? It was on eBay for, I think, $8 or $9. And I was like, well, hang on a second. It's coming from China. Could be fake. Curiosity get the, uh, got the best of me, and I ordered it, right? Within a week or two, it was here. And I was like, okay, that's kind of fast shipping. Impressive. I ordered it, and I was like, hmm. Is it fake or is it real? And a friend of mine told me this was real. And I have here the real deal. This right here is the pack where that McQueen comes inside of. Sure enough, it's real. So I am impressed that for $9, you can get just this one alone. I really like that. I mean, if you didn't want these other two, you could have just gotten this one singularly on eBay now. I'm really happy. So now a lot of people can get this one because I'm, I'm sure many people were after this pack solely just for this McQueen right here. It had a different expression. It was a new metallic paint job. Pretty good deal in my opinion. So I don't have to take this one out of the box and I can have this one right here from China. Yes, it has those little chip marks at the bottom, but I honestly don't care. I really don't. Hey, as long as I have it, it's physically here. I can hold it now. I can actually enjoy this Metallic McQueen that I've had in this box for years, ever since it was released. And now I can enjoy it. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, so the next one is an interesting one. This one, ah, shoot, is it Burnt McQueen? I completely forgot. Here's the thing. There's three of them. I thought there was two, but there's three. One, I think, is from a pack exclusive, and two are singles. Oh, there he goes. Which one is the... I, yeah, this is the pack exclusive. And this one is Soaked Lightning McQueen, and this one is Burnt Lightning McQueen. There we go. My memory's coming back to me. Yeah, so... He's got bubbles there. I guess you can call him Sprite Lightning McQueen. Um, 65 people here. Nice. Hello, everyone who's joining. I hope you guys enjoy the live stream, and... Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, this one was on eBay for $3. Again, I'm very impressed since it was a pack exclusive. I really like it. The face is amazing. I love it. The burnt effect looks nice. It looks great. I love it. You know, yes, once it's chipped, you can see the red paint obviously under. But honestly, I think what I'm going to do is just come along with a Sharpie, touch it up, and bam, it's as good as new. So there's really nothing wrong with getting used cars because you can just fix them up yourself if you have the tools, which is really just a Sharpie. Anyways, that one off to the side. And now here's another one I bought at the flea market. This one right here is a Lenticular Eyes Lightning or Cruising Lightning McQueen. Really, the only difference is, you know, the eyes are Lenticular. Um, I know a lot of people don't like these. I personally do. Um, you'll see when I do the June monthly unboxing, you're probably like, oh, that's such a long way away. I know, I know, but I'm already building up stuff for the June live stream. A friend of mine at a flea market got me a uh, finish line, finish McQueen, or what? what is it called? Finish line, uh, finish line McQueen, I think. The one where his tongue is sticking out and he's got no back tires. He found me the lenticular version of that McQueen at a flea market for three bucks and it was in near perfect condition. He got it for me. I haven't met up with him yet. Um, we're going to meet soon, hopefully, at a hangout or something, and he'll give me the car. And I've been wanting the lenticular version of that McQueen, the finish line McQueen, for a while now. So um, he got it for me, surprisingly, at a flea market for a very cheap price. And yeah, there's the McQueens. They're pretty much very much the same besides, you know, the chip marks back there. But maybe if you have the exact cherry red color, you can definitely fix that. All right, so the next one is going to be this guy right here. And, I mean, this one, honestly, I never had it. You know, obviously, I have this one right here. And this one is honestly really iconic. When you look at this one, I know you probably think, oh, Cars 2. You immediately think Cars 2 and the whole Radio just brings scene. At least I hope you do. It's just iconic, in my opinion. It looks really nice. That purple streak that Ramon left on him is just very nice. Uh, I think I honestly prefer this one 
just because there's a different expression. He's got the purple stripe of cross right there. Yeah, I love it. It looks great. Everything else seems to be the same. It's just, of course, the purple stripe and the different expression. At least the eyes. The mouth seems to be the same. But it looks really good, and I love it. All right, where am I going to put this guy? Okay, off to the side, and then the regular off to that side. All right. Here's this one right here. Uh, this one I also found at the flea market. This one is Brent without the headset. With no brim! Basically, in a nutshell. Um, I was like, do I have this one or do I not? I was like, I know I have the one with the headset, but do I not have this one? And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Probably the only time I'm going to see it for a cheap price. I think it was 2 or $3. So I was like, I went for it and I got home and I checked. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. I didn't have it. Phew! And here he was. Um, the eyes look a little bit different. Honestly, I get the vibes from the canceled Cars 3 Brent when I see this one right here. I know it's not exactly, you know, the one that is canceled. But I just get those vibes every time I see the one without the headset. But yeah, the eyes are different. The mouth. Oh, look, the mouth is also different. So I'm, in a sense, it's a completely different casting because, you know, they got to change the mouth. For the casting, I'm sure. And I don't think it's a mouth plate. So yeah, they pretty much got to change it all up if they want to change one minor thing. All right. So now we're going to do this one right here. So um, at the same time, I kind of wanted to do Late Night Talk with PCP at the beginning of the video. Because it would have helped me with the stuff I'm reviewing right now. Because this guy's going to be re-released or reissued in a new 11 pack with finish line mcqueen and i'll show you guys pictures later at the end of the live stream but um the same day they leaked that new 11 pack for target i found this guy at the flea market and i was like whew, say it to myself from getting that 11 pack for one car i didn't have am i right now watch me i'm still gonna buy it just to review would you guys be interested though I, I don't know well when i show the pictures i'll ask you guys again if you're actually interested in a review of that pack because i have the cars in that pack I think all of them. I'm not sure. I think I'm missing maybe one, two, max three. But I'll ask you guys at the end if you guys want to see a review on that. Like a Vietnam versus Thailand and China. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. I'm a little interested in seeing what they did for Finish Line McQueen. Vietnam specifically. All right. Another flea market find. This is Sarge with lenticular eyes with the little gas can thing right there. They don't really change too much. Very slightly. So it's, it's not my favorite. But, you know, I got it. I think it was $2 or something like that. More to add to the growing collection, I guess. All right, now this one is very cool. I did not think this mini adventures Ramon would have this many features. So you have those little tabs right there. You can pretty much hook them up right there. In a sense, yeah, kind of like that. And this thing as well can swivel around with notches in place. I mean, I didn't know this thing had so much articulation. And then the best part is this back panel opens up. I didn't know. And there's stuff inside. I thought it was some sort of little battery compartment or something. And I was looking, I was like, hang on, wh where do you put batteries for this thing? Is this thing supposed to like turn on and spin or something? Is it battery powered? And then surely enough, I found out that it does this. How cool is that? Now, wouldn't it have been nice if we got stuff like this for mini racers? Sadly, we don't. But, you know, I think there's also a McQueen version of this. And possibly a Sarge. I'm not sure. But, hey, here's the Ramon one. I'm not sure how much this one cost me. But I'm sure it was, I think it was 12 it's Something like, around that price. Uh, that was on eBay. Alright, so now, we're done with the first layer of the the new collection that i basically bought off of ebay and the flea market uh i've been really wanting to take a look at this uh, my bad i've been really wanting to take a look at this one for you guys for a while now um i wanted to do at first a separate review dedicated to just this one but i was like you know what i'm gonna throw them into the uh monthly unboxing and let me just reach over here as many of you guys know, if you're an OG PCP fan, 
you remember when I reviewed this one right here. So, we're going to compare Takarotomi with the silver custom Chinese one. Let's get to it. Um, you got that Takarotomi packaging. I like it. It's nice. Presentable. But let's get to it. I hope he looks good. I mean, it's something of a whoa. Hello. Whoa. This this dude looks nice. Uh, I, wow. And I'm talking... Wow. Huh. Holy cow. <laughs> Why does he look so good? What? Bruh. Forget this one. I'll take this one any day. Yo, he looks so good. That's quality... Re oh, you know what? I actually have to bring the other one back. Just so you can guys get an idea of what's official and what's not official, what's custom. Man. Oh, he's missing missing the uh, Rusty's at the back right there. The logo. Clean. He looks great. I love it. It's amazing. The expression just... The tone of silver they chose, the Rusty's text at the back. Ah, oh, he looks great. I really love it. And best of all, you already know your boy got to test out the suspension these Takaratomi cars got, like the, my previous reviews. This one looks great. Jeez, Mattel who? Alrighty, so, um... In a sense, you can kind of keep the little box if you want to, you know, display it like that. There you go. Uh, I'll just put it off to the side. Okay, so the next one I got here is this Shoot to the... Oh, hello. All right. Shoot to the Rookie Carnival Cup from eBay. Only at Target. More like now only on eBay. I mean, you can't find this at Target anymore, sadly. Oh, it has a damaged head. Are you serious? Really? Ah, you're right. It does. Ah. <sighs> Man, good eye. Good job. I didn't notice that. It's because I'm turning blind. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm not even 18. Why am I complaining? All right, here is Shoe to the Roki. Very nice. I really... <laughs> I don't have any of the other ones except McQueen. So I guess I'm going to start collecting these. The shoe have number eight on his spoiler. Number seven. Oh, uh, what? Uh... uh... Bruh. <laughs> uh, classic Mattel. Yeah, that's typical of them. I'm not surprised. Ugh. I, I'm, t br I'm telling you right now. This is going to come back, but it's going to say Disney Plus, and it's going to be slapped on every single packaging for cars because when the series comes out, it's going to say Disney Plus, cars, the series, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to take up so much, like all of this. Learn more at DisneyPlus.com. I can already see it. Rip that off. Oh, gladly. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I really hope this isn't what they're going to pull off with the Disney Plus series. Where they have to shove in this advertisement every single time on their damn cars packages. New Disney Plus series. Like, yeah, that's a good propaganda. But that's what you got social media for. You don't have to enforce it on the toys. Ooh, this guy's rims look dope. And clean. All right. I have to start making a little rubbish pile off to the side. Because if not, it's going to turn into a huge mess. And unorganized. And I'm going to hate myself. All right. Here is Shoe. He looks clean. Silver. Thick. Slim. Squared like a box. And he's got these dope white tires. Uh, they're not white walls. No, no, no. They're their own breed. They are these white, clean, cleaner than snow tires. With black rims. Whoa! Kind of like a yin and yang type of thing. Black and white. It looks really cool. I like that. Carnival cup. Nice. I like this one. It's so cool. Yeah, I definitely want to start collecting the other ones. I was looking up Francesco on eBay. And he's $50! Why? I mean, yeah. like I, I mean, the dude's, the dude's good looking. But like, why? 
50? Hell no. Well, I mean, if you guys really want to see me collect these, then sure, I'll do it. But $50 for a little toy car? Bro, I swear, this hobby's getting more and more expensive. All right. The next one is... Wait a minute. No, you know what? Yeah, I'll do this one. This one right here. This is a... Cause I know someone in the audience will tell me what these are called. I completely forgot. There's a Mater. There's a McQueen. I think the Rastakara as well with the hair. And then, of course, the Ice Creamer. Basically, they punch out their tires. I completely forgot what these were called. It was a little series. I searched it up way before this live stream. The day I got it at the flea market. I, it was, I think, a dollar or two when I got it at the flea market. And I tried putting in batteries because when it punches, it's supposed to do a sound effect. And it's not doing it. I think it has. it's because it has battery corrosion. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the sounds don't work. But this line, I forgot what it was called. Punch in sounds. Oh, no, that's not what it was called. I, I completely forgot. But yeah, that's basically what it does. It's plastic. Uh, do I have a meter with me? Like a Mattel meter? No, I don't. Okay, just imagine that... Uh, yeah, just 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 pretend this is Mater. Just pretend. That's the scale. Jeez, I'd be frightened too, McQueen. Yeah, the, uh, I, I don't... <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. It's just the look on his face and then the look on his face. It kind of... Oh boy, we better move on because uh, I might get demonetized. If I even dare say what I'm thinking about. Anyways, here we got this one right here. And there is a factory custom from China of this Neon Lightning McQueen, but but it's from Cars 3, the Cars 3 paint job. This is a Radiator Springs um, Team Radi Team RS, whatever the frick it's called, paint job McQueen. And, you know, I love this paint job. It's one of my favorites. And, of course, I'm going to collect them. And I found it on eBay. I was like, let's do it. So I got it. So let's get to it. Oh, and he's had these neat little handles, like a little light year tire. It was really cool. So, I mean, you can keep these in box if you want. But um, no doubt, when I was a kid, I was like, this is such a downgrade from this. You went from these nice acrylic boxes with backdrops of cardboard and road plastic pieces to cardboard plastic boxes yeah i'm yeah, i'm not a huge fan of these boxes um sadly they carried this over to cars 3 diecast i think they just flipped them over and they changed this over here of course to orient it orient everything my bad uh but yeah it was definitely a downgrade as a kid i picked up on it like that i was like why are they changing it when did they do these changes i think i was 11 maybe 10 12 i don't remember around 10 to 12 years old and i noticed these changes and i was like nah i'm gonna stop collecting disney store cars and i did and i think that's i mean i saw how cheaper and cheaper stuff was getting and that's maybe what unmotivated me from collecting cars at the time which ended in me selling my collection that I had as a child and I mean I didn't get back into cars until 2016 when I saw the Cars 3 teaser trailer because I was like oh nostalgia this is what I used to love as a kid but stuff like this these packagings is what got me out of it I'm guessing so I'm starting to remember I was like it's getting cheaper the shorts are literally like two minutes long there's nothing like Mater's Tall Tales content anymore I mean, yeah, stuff is hard to animate, but <sighs> stuff like that just got me out of cars, if I'm going to be honest, back then. So it was like around 2015, 14. And now they even do them with a pullback feature. Uh, that's a lot more kitty, if you ask me. Of course, he's got those. Uh, with these heavy-duty scissors, it should do the trick, though. There we go. Alright, that's one, 
two, three. All right, gently just put this off to the side. All right, so this Neon McQueen here, you know, despite the boxes being cheap, they were still releasing a lot of cool cars back then. A lot of them were really random though. And a perfect example of that is this one right here. But it worked because <laughs> it looks good. Just look at the reflection of the light right there. I wonder, does this glow in the dark? I'm gonna have to check afterwards when I'm done. Very minimalistic licensing info. All it says is Disney Pixar. I would have thought it said the Disney Star London, something like that. No, it doesn't. Nothing. Wow, but the the decals. Everything looks great. I love it. The rims, everything. He just fits for some reason in this paint job. Honestly, this should have been Neon Lightning McQueen. Forget the red one. This one's honestly better. Because you can still see tints of red or burgundy? Brown? Underneath the coat of paint? It just works. I love it. And definitely one of my favorites. Instantly. Yeah, crooked decals, but what can you do about that? I mean, you know. Mattel's no stranger to that either. That's why we got errors in the world, but... Overall, I love this one. Alright. Uh, what else do I got with me? Mm, oh. I guess, you know, now that we're on it... We'll do this one. Ice Cream Truck Mater. Uh, also from eBay. Very nice. I'm trying to collect all the um, Mater trucks that were released like this. Um, I, I have this one right here. From back in Cars 2's days. The days of Cars 2. So basically this era right here. This was a taco truck canon to the movie. Um, of course, you know, there's this one as well that we're going to review. We'll review both of these at the same time. There's a sushi variation, and then there's also a Lightning McQueen fan version that I'll be unboxing in June. It hasn't arrived. You know, since it is um, Memorial Day, it's a holiday here in the United States, the mail USPS isn't in service today. Um, if it was, though, I would have gotten him today. But since he isn't, I mean, since they aren't, he isn't arriving until Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. So for now, we're just going to take a look at these two right here. Um, six fifty. Wow, they're a lot more expensive now. I think two dollars more. Wrong side. Oh yeah, they did make a lot of fictional stuff back then. Surprisingly, nowadays they're not. Besides the XRS stuff. Other than that, there's not much fictional quote unquote stuff anymore. Even in the cars mainline, there isn't much fictional stuff either. It's just the Easter cars. Um, I know they're releasing a Mummy, Luigi, and Guido later this year as well that we'll take a look at later today in the Late Night Talk with PCP segment. Um, but yeah, as far as fantasy stuff or fictional stuff, they don't do much of it anymore. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. That just depends on you. Uh, here's the backdrop. Very nice. Radiator Springs. Kind of like a postcard. Be like, hey, I went to Cars Land. Not really. I mean, I've gone to Cars Land, but <laughs> you can prank someone by making them think you went with this little card right here. All right. The box off to the side. And here's the taco truck. I mean, not <laughs> ice cream truck made her my bed, not taco truck. Ugh, decals are kind of sticky for some reason. It's like freshly applied for some reason. That's what, that's what it feels like. Mater's ice cream. Very nice. I like the different colors right here and all that. I love how he still keeps his original brown under here. No matter what wacky paint job he's got, sometimes you'll see the brown still under. I mean, not here. Oh, that's because I'm double jointed. Yeah, I'm double jointed, so I can do a lot of weird things with my thumbs. So maybe that's why I'm very professional <laughs> at unboxing toys is because my fingers are, my thumbs, only my thumbs are double jointed. I've gotten a lot of people um who've come up to me and say whoa did you break your thumb or something no it's just i'm double jointed it's a gift <laughs> i don't see it as something weird i honestly see it as a not talent but just as a extra boost of help because look at this 
I can hold die cast like this now. Normal, you know, you can hold them like this, but I got that extra extension. <laughs> I can hold them with one hand. Oh my goodness! No, no, yeah, I don't. I don't think of my. I don't think of it as weird at all. If anything, I like it. It helps me a lot for sure when I'm trying to hold more things in one hand. Uh, but yeah, there you can take a look at both of them right there. We're not gonna get it too deep into details with these maters because they just have above and beyond detail. But this one's a sushi truck. This is an ice cream truck. You zoom in on there. Oh, dude, they got the SpongeBob ice cream. Eh, no, they don't. And even if they did, it wasn't gonna come out perfect. I bet. Just got a bunch of random other ones. Mater's ice cream and treats. Caution. Cars, something like that. Tomato sushi. Nice. This is so cool. I love how they they do or they you know they got creative. They did a bunch of different versions. I mean, here I got three. I don't know how many came out. Four. I know four for sure. Counting these three and the one from um Souvenirs Lightning McQueen Truck Mater. That's another one that was released in this style of packaging right here. So yeah. Um very nice though. I like it. Different rims. His eyelids look different on this one. I think if I had to from favorite to least favorite, favorite, least favorite. I love them all, but if I had to if I had to, that's the order that I'd put them in. Okay, so enough of those. I'll put those off to the side. Now we got this. Once again from China. And I know a lot of people have this one. And I barely got it. I ordered it in March. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get it by the end of March. I'll put it in the March monthly unboxing. Nope. Um, shipping services really said, you know what? You're going to have to wait a whole two more months. This barely arrived in May, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, in May. So, yeah, I thought it was a Disney Star one. I'll be honest at first. But this is the same size. It. It's pretty much the same as a Mattel die cast. I'm not sure if this is custom. I'm not sure if this is canceled. Definitely not official because they haven't done anything like this for a 155 skill. They've only done this for mini racers. There's a mini racers version of this. The back is plastic. Only the front is metal. Just like the regular release. The eyes are a lot smaller. Different color. They look a lot more cartoony. The base is now... This chrome gold looking color. Um, you know, I don't know. What's up with this red or what's the story? Who created this? Or why was it canceled? Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, I really thought it was Atomica Diecast as well. I, but I, I, upon inspectation. Upon the inspe inspect... I, the inspectation yeah there we go it's the same thing as a mattel one and i was shocked i was like huh i didn't think it would be but it is yeah it's a very strange one but um a welcome one no doubt you know i'll welcome in into my collection uh you know the council will have to decide but i'm i'm sure they'll let them stay and they'll accept them hopefully i'm starting to build quite the collection of chinese factory customs and fakes and stuff like that not fakes i mean would you count this as a fake since it's not officially by mattel or would you count this as something real i mean it's a factory custom i don't know whatever all right next one these three right here also from the flea market we're gonna run through it quick this one right here is the major door lightning mcqueen and this one right here i used to have as a kid there's this 20 pack from uh, Mater's Tall Tales, and it had some cars from every short, if I'm not mistaken, except Mater's Private Eye and Air Mater. And it had this one right here, and I saw it at the flea market, and I was like, oh, I used to have that as a kid. I gotta buy it. And I think it was three or four bucks around there, and I thought it was a great deal, because the kid who had this, or man, pretty much didn't touch him at all. Not a single chip I can see, at least. He's in mint condition. There's just a bit of the silver from, I mean, gold trim from the spoiler flaking off. But underneath it's just red paint. So it really doesn't even look like it's been touched at all. 
Uh, I remember the one I had as a kid. I always tried yanking off the hat. And one day, boop, popped it off. And <laughs> underneath it, there's just pegs and holes. I don't know why I wanted to remove this so badly as a kid, but I did. Ended up breaking it. Same with the Mater. I don't have those anymore, sadly. None of them. This one right here is a Silver Lightning McQueen from Cars 2. Um, the spoiler's broken off, but I brought out this one so you can get an idea, sort of, of what it's supposed to be like. I'm guessing it's also supposed to be a red spoiler, but obviously it says World Grand Prix and not Radiator Springs. Uh, but yeah, this is the Team RS variation, and this is the Cars 2 variation of the Silver McQueen. And it's a different tone. This one seems more like a primer silver, if I'm going to be honest, and this seems like a straight-up chrome. So really... This is chrome, this is silver. Nice. Yeah, um, spoiler or not, I love it. It looks really good. All right, so here is the Disney Star Francesco and strangely enough, I'll show you guys. There's the Francesco collection. I have the pullback from 2020. Where, where's the other one? So, oh, there, there he is. It's be behind the Mattel ones. I have the neon very uh neon variation. You press the bottom of the of the base and he lights up. He's in there. And then there's the metallic cars to chase Francesco in there. So I have literally a bunch of Disney Store Francescos. But somehow, I don't know how, <laughs> I didn't have a normal version. So I saw it at the flea market. And I went for it. Yay! And he looks great. Nothing seems wrong with him. Besides that, that's missing. That's missing too. Actually, my metallic Francesco also has that problem. After some time of play, that broke off and the axle became loose. So I'm guessing this was very common with the Francescos from Disney Store, huh? Again, that licensing info. How come it just says Disney Pixar? I used to think that they had a bunch of info on them on the bottom. Now they don't. I'm sure I can find an example right here. Um, no, I can't. Do I have any on hand? Here's one. Perfect. This one right here. The Disney Store, London, blah, blah. All this info. It's gone from all the other Disney Store cards we've taken a look at. See, look, this one right here. And it's the same mold. What's up with that? All right, anyways, enough about that. Um, what was next? Uh, oh, okay. Right, so this one right here. Um... I didn't really want to do a separate video for this one. I was like, one whole video of me take, uh, me taking, yeah, a, a whole video of me for eight minutes straight talking and then unboxing this. I was like, nah, it's boring. People aren't going to like it. I'll just throw them into the monthly unboxing. So here we got Xavier Roldalt. And um, I have some very helpful information that I'm going to pull up on the computer um, from a fellow Instagram user by the name of carburetor county productions i didn't know any of this info to be honest until i saw his instagram post on this case which is case uh what case is this i'm sure someone will let me know i completely forgot it no it's not h is it i forgot anyways uh basically the information we have is xavier is the semi for ernie gearson in cars 3 so this is a cars 3 semi not a Cars 1 semi. Uh, strangely, he is not labeled new for 2021. That is correct. Somehow he isn't. That is a goof. Case end. Thank you, everyone. Um, most loyal fans ever. Thank you. Um, despite there never being any experiment haulers or semis before, his case is full of mistakes, such as Josh Coolant, also in this case, being labeled as from Cars 3, and Cars 3 Mac being labeled as Cars 1. Wow. Um... This case is really full of errors. More, I should say, goofs. More like goofs, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, I got the perfect joke for this one. Hey, um, Xavier, so, um, 2021 Lightning McQueen with Piston Cup is, um, he's calling. And, uh, he wants his new for 2021 sticker back. Actually, no, I said the joke wrong. Damn it. I had this joke in mind. It was like that one right there. He's got the new for 2021 sticker. It's like McQueen took it away from Xavier. And that's why Xavier doesn't have it. I don't know. I'm so cringy. And I know it. And I'm sorry. 
Actually, no, not sorry. It's just part of my charisma. All right, here we got Xavier rolled out Deluxe. And there's no one on the back besides him. Strangely enough. Could you imagine if this was actually for the Cars 1 racer? But we're been bamboozled to think that's for the Cars 3 racer just because of the back right here. Just like they tried bamboozling us, making us think Josh Coolant was from Cars 3 and Cars 3 Mac from Cars 1. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so for this one right here, I have this one right here to compare and I have these two right here to compare. Surprisingly, they are all different tones of blue. This is like a mint blue. Makes sense. Um, this is more like of a teal and this is more of an authentic um, baby blue almost. Cerulean. Yeah, but cerulean I guess almost in a sense. So baby blue, teal, cerulean. Um, honestly, it fits. I love how this looks. I love how it fades right there. Look at that. It kind of fades into the color of... Mm, what? No, none of them actually. I was going to say it fades into the color of the cab or the color of this guy, but no. It's a different shade of blue. That's, I think, authentic blue right there. Or this one even right there. That's straight up blue. Maybe like a navy blue, maybe? Light navy blue? I don't know. But I love him. He looks great. Uh, the expression is really nice. I don't think any other of the semis have these ex um, expressions. Experiment number 93. Number 93. Very nice. You know, you can't hitch them up. They don't have the hitch right there. This one does. Uh, these look different. These are silver. These are gray. His eyes are brown. And, you know, this one is made in Thailand. He feels heavier. Strangely enough, these feel as light as day. This one's actually got some heft to it. He feels hefty. He chunky. He thick. But the other ones feel so light for some reason. All right. Well, that's enough on Xavier. Very simple. Yet very elegant. Okay. So the next one we're going to take a look at is... Oh, I forgot to check this out for you guys. The Evolution of Vinyl Tupé. Oh, I didn't bring out the next gen. <laughs> Rip. So, in a sense, for the next gen, they went back to purple. Just a very deep shade of purple. But for the Cars 3 stock car, they went from purple and orange to orange and blue and white. But yeah, that's a quick little comparison. I forgot to do that, and I'm just remembering right now. Alright, we're getting near the end. No, no, not really. I take that back. There's too much. There's way too much still. Yeah, there's way too much. All right. The next thing we're going to take a look at. Um, you know, we'll get through this one quick because I don't really plan on opening this one. And the reason being is because I have Disney Star ones loose. So we'll just quickly compare these. These are from Toys R Us. Um, the McQueen has a different expression. He's got like an open mouth in a sense. And this one has a closed mouth. Of course, these are exclusive metallic finishes. Uh, Major is the closest one. As far as the expression, this one only has his mouth slightly open in comparison to that one. But they're near identical. I mean, McQueen's really the only one that's really different. That's the way you can distinguish them is by the mouth play right there, or the expression of the mouth. Um, the tones of blue are different as well. Other than that, though, actually, I think Disney Star got the right tone of blue because look at that. Yeah, so this is a little too light. That's not um, TV short accurate, I guess, in a sense. Not movie accurate, because this isn't from a movie. This is from a short called Air, uh, Air Mater. Mater Hawk and Lightning McQueen Hawk. Only at Toys R Us. New. <laughs> it was new. I like the little clouds in the background. They're like little cars, too, I noticed. They're little cars. Cloud cars. I don't know how that works, but all right. And there's the back. I mean, man, I have this one. I don't have this one. I have these in metallic finishes. I have this one from a Disney store. Uh, I have this one. 
for Mattel. I don't have this one, and I don't have this one. Yeah, I, I think I had this one as a Disney store, though. Used to have this one. Not anymore. Made Hawk performs and blah, 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 blah. The whole plot. But is it true? Or a tall tale? All right, off to the side you go. All right, the next one... Uh, you know what? Yeah, this one's going to take a little bit of time, so we're going to get to this one right here from the flea market. Basically, I think there's two versions of this one. This Carnival Cup McQueen version and I think a McQueen version that has this paint job right here with the Radiator Spring sponsors. Surprised I didn't get that one. But yeah, this one was 10 bucks at the flea market. Basically, you press down the number 95. Why isn't he doing it? He was literally just working a few seconds ago. Oh, there we go. He makes a bunch of noise and his wheels light up and I thought that you would press it down and he'd shoot forward but he doesn't and sometimes it lights up sometimes it doesn't and I was like you know what I'll change the batteries I don't see a compartment ah on the contrary my friend it's hidden very cleverly as well right there on the axle look at that it's a meh design I mean, I would have preferred it maybe over here. But since the lights are really only in here, I can see why they rather just put it right here in the axle or the wheel set instead of all the way over here and having wires go all the way over here. And this one has the yellow tires because I know there's an orange variation of a Mattel 155 scale die cast. I have both of them. There's one with the orange wheels and there's one with yellow wheels for 155 scale. I'm guessing the yellow wheels are correct because their larger scale McQueens like this one right here have the yellow wheels instead of the orange wheels. Both of them look good though. Orange or yellow. They both fit them well. I mean, when does this guy not look good? Nice. All right. Next one I have is... Okay, we'll wait for those two. This one can go first. This one right here, I got a... Neat little story. If you've seen my video, which is titled Three Generations of Lightning McQueen Technology, part two though, I show this Jackson Storm from Disney Store slash JCPenney and basically had this revving action. And at first I was like, I don't want the McQueen. I have Spiro's Ultimate McQueen. There's no need for the Disney Store version. That's a pretty much a downgrade. But I found it on eBay. Because, like, as soon as I finished with that Three Generations of McQueen Part 2 video, I was like, you know what? I think I want the McQueen. It looks interesting. I think it would be interesting to hear the sound effects. And I was looking for months and months and months, and I couldn't find one. And then out of nowhere, I saw this one listed on eBay for, I think, 25 bucks, But I got an offer for 22 bucks, And I took it up because that's pretty much store price, if not cheaper, I think. And um, I haven't put fresh batteries in it. So the remote doesn't work too well, but what's important is McQueen. He works well, and he's got a bit of scuff marks and whatnot. He's got a bit of wear, but very minimalistic, which is the best part. So he's mere mint, con mint condition, my bad. And one of my favorite things is that he's got treading and rubber tires, and it's just fantastic. I love this when the cars have this. I mean, just putting tread on the tires makes it a great display piece. So you basically turn them on. When these are blinking, that means he's ready to be paired up with the remote. Turn this on. And when it stops blinking, I suppose that means that, there we go, now they are paired. And, you know, here's the remote, black and red, very elegant. It's got the tire. Headlights light up, and it's amazing, I love it. Tail lights as well light up when you go backwards. Very nice. And the headlights are always on, it seems. And here's what I'm talking about. I didn't put fresh batteries in, but if I did, I don't think I'd be getting this circuit cut right here or connectivity cut. Because if I hold it all the way down, it stops automatically. Watch this. So he's in need of batteries. Yeah, so a um, bit of a shame there, but what's important? What I wanted to see most of all was this feature right here. I 
I love it. Well, it looks like he's having a stroke, but still it looks cool. Oh, don't go off the table. He's, he's quite quick though when you press the remote. The moment I flick it, watch this. Resp oh, calm down. He responds quickly. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm trying to talk good about you, McQueen. Come on, work with me. No, 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 relax. Okay, I think th that's enough before an accident happens. Oh, yeah, he's got that nice signature right there at the top. And surprisingly, it's not a sticker. Number 95. All right, the next one. It's actually kind of cringy. I'm not going to lie. I got it because I like the paint job. And he's got suspension. But if I'm going to be honest, it's a little cringy. It's a little cringy. It is the... You'll see why. Flag Finish Lightning McQueen. It's basically a kid's toy. I'm just going to cut it straight right now. 80 plus sounds and phrases. Dragon Drift, Race Laughs, Victory Dance. Okay. These are cool. Just it gets cringy here. God, the, the moment I put batteries in this guy, when I got him off of eBay, I was cringing because... The way he talks is so darn out of character, it, it makes me cringe. Let me find something where I can place them on. Okay, here, this is perfect. This is going to work. All right, let me just pick up this tripod right here. So you guys remember McQueen in the first movie, right? He's all hotshot, cocky. He doesn't care about anyone else. But then by the second one, you know, he's a little more soft and whatnot. But he's still got a little bit of cockiness to him. Then in Cars 3, he's... um. You know, he's still got the confidence and everything and still the same character we love from the first movie. But, you know, a little bit more kinder and whatnot. But he's still got his same tantrum from the first movie, especially when he gets mad at Cruz. But that's our McQueen. That's the McQueen we know from the first movie. I guess Mattel sees McQueen as a freaking baby. Because watch this. Oh, yeah. Race time. All right. Here's the flag. I'm going to put it in that. Okay, buddy. Wave that flag to get racing. <sighs> He's already getting ahead of himself. The music Grab mode. Flag. We get victory dance. You know. Shake that flag. Give me, give me a second. Okay. What? What are you? It almost seems like a knockoff. It's kind of. It's so weird. I, what? What were they thinking? He twerks. I mean, the flag looks amazing, but listen, he starts talking while the song plays and is, it's the most cringy and out of character thing for him ever. Let's see if it'll happen right now. No, it's not. All right. Next song, I think. Get to him, McQueen. I am. Stop, stop. That's not in character for you. Okay, watch. I think it, this flat. He says. Oh, just, just listen. What? Seriously? You're not gonna? Come, come on, just say the damn thing already, McQueen. Okay, I swear. It better be this next song where he says the phrase. It's so cringy. Come on, come on, come on. Just say it. Say, what? Why isn't he saying it? Why isn't he saying it? Okay, he's... Oh, check her me out. No, I'm not going to check her you out. You're doing this on purpose. Oh, yeah, you're doing this on purpose, buddy. You're not... You're not saying the phrase I want you to say. It's so cringy. Oh, here. He's going to say it right here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, no! Shut up! No, no! Way to go! Shut the fuck up. No. McQueen is a character who's cocky, arrogant, cares a little bit about his friends, but he does not say, Go, buddy, go, buddy, friendship and magic. No, no, you got My Little Pony for that shit. You got freaking Thomas the Tank Engine reboot for that shit. You got the SpongeBob reboot for that shit. No, McQueen does not supposed to say 
Go, buddy. Go, buddy. I love you, buddy. Oh, my. Mattel burn in hell. Because McQueen, that is not McQueen's character. McQueen is cocky, arrogant, and he's a little bastard who only cares about himself. Not a... Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Go, but No. No, no, no. I don't care if the kids are three. I don't care if the kids are watching right now. I don't care if I have three-year-old fans on here. Look. Kid, right, this kid looks at least five. You cannot tell me a kid that's five still likes listening to the words, Go, buddy. You rock? No. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Look. It was cool. A little cringy with the twerking. I, I will say the paint job is cool. It's one of my favorites. 80 plus phrases. That's amazing. Fantastic. Uh, look, honestly, I wanted to take a look at the other things, the other features, but I can't. I'm on a table. I need to have a lot of space for the other stuff to work. But this... The moment I put batteries in this monstrosity, when I got it on eBay, oh my, bro, I was so pissed because, oh my gosh, someone gave me a super chat. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for the super chat. Um, but <laughs> what? It's so cringy. Why does he have to say go buddy? They have babyified Lightning McQueen. Uh, Pixar, where was Pixar when this thing was being made? Does Pixar not check the merch before it's put on the shelves? Come on. In the movies, he's never trying to interact with humans because there's no humans. So why do you have to make a toy that interacts with humans but says phrases that are so specific to humans? Like, buddy, go buddy, wave the flag, shake, shake, shake. No, no, I won't shake, shake, shake. No, I I'm not. I'm not going to shake, shake, shake with you, McQueen. You know, you can go shake, shake, shake in hell. Because I'm not going to with you. No. No, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one any day. This one. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. The Disney Store one. I don't care if the remote doesn't work. Yeah, honestly, I don't care if the remote is defective. This one right here. Any day. He doesn't have to talk. All he has to say is vroom, vroom, neom, skirt. And I'm happy. But when you make him say, go, buddy, go, buddy. Oh, my Bro, no, why? Why did you have to make McQueen a freaking baby character? Like, what the hell was... What were you all thinking? M Mattel, like... Do that with your freaking Barbie line. Do that with your freaking... Do it with Teletubbies. Do it with Dora the Explorer. But, no, what... You don't do it with the freaking icon this dude is right here. You do... That... Bro, that's disrespect. I, on, I have never been more pissed on my life with Mattel. L you, look, okay, I've, was, I was pissed with them when they changed Thomas and Friends. Uh, that was one. That was one strike. Second strike was when they started cheaping out on merch. Second strike. I, this is my third strike with Mattel. That they've babyified Lightning McQueen into a baby toy. It, it, go on the Pixar Cars channel right now after the live stream. Their videos are ran by... Well, obviously, they're edited by adults. But the host on the channel of the Pixar Cars channel, there are a bunch of kids playing with the toys, talking about friendship and magic. Oh my gosh. No, you're killing me, Mattel. That is not what Cars is about. Cars, oh, my, bro, uh, bro, no, I can't, no. Cars is not about, it was never intended to be about freaking friendship, magic, sparkles, Flipping tires in the air. Oh, all together now. Teamwork and friendship. No. Bro, why? Why? It's giving me a headache. Why? Why did they release that monstrosity? Why did it pass the inspection test? Who who approved this thing? Who, in Mattel's damn right mind, who works up there and said, Hey, let's make this McQueen who interacts with children. Did you seriously have to make that? Oh my god. No, you didn't. Bro, you... I swear, oh, there, <laughs> there, there goes the bag. If they make the, I hope, I really hope, the Disney Plus series is, isn't a baby joke. And it actually has some sense of maturity for McQueen. Anyways, yes, I, I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I know, it's just, it pisses me off when big corporations like Mattel think they can <laughs> they can ruin they can ruin a character or a franchise with friendship and teamwork morals. No, you got freaking printer 
printer. Kindergarten for that. If you want to learn about your friendship and colors and all that stuff, go to freaking pre-K or kindergarten but or Head Start. Don't, but don't come and enforce it on toys from something as high as Pixar. Pixar. You're touching a Pixar franchise with baby morals? Bruh, nah. Nah. Nah, bro, that, that, <laughs> y'all are, y'all are on some crack up there. All right. <laughs> My blood pressure is faster than the storm. All right, look at this Gucci bag right here. You know what's in the Gucci bag? All these parts. Now, there are several versions of this Lightning McQueen. And I think I have some pictures on him right here. Um, this one was released before Cars 3. And there was one before Cars, no. One for Cars 1. One for Cars two which is i guess basically this one and there's one for cars three that's called change and race mcqueen the cars three one sucks i would always see it at dis no not this uh toys r us it sucks uh, it's so simplistic all you can change is the paint jobs it has sound effects <laughs> never knew i needed that it's kind of cool though not gonna lie uh but this is the one we have this is the one that's pretty freaking awesome Design and Drive McQueen. In package, he's worth, I think, 70 plus, which is a little ridiculous. I got mine for 29 bucks, loose. And it's got all the pieces. Except the goggles. Damn it, I'm just realizing that right now. I have all the pieces except the goggles, which is these right here. And those goggles are actually a Passover from these. I had this one. <laughs> What's the sound? Go, buddy. <laughs> Pixar isn't for kids, it's for everyone. Exactly. Hence why I like it. Hence why so many adults like it. Why do you think there's Disney adults who go to the parks and who are adults dressed as Mickey Mouse in little Mickey Mouse ears? Or girls, too. Because uh, it's not just for kids. It's for adults, too. Anyways, gear up and go, McQueen. I had this one as a kid. I gave it away, though, because I lost several of the tires. Mainly, I think I, think I lost one of the big ones. Two of the regular small ones. I think I lost the engine piece as well. 48 plus combinations. That's incredible. 15 body parts. Ugh, ugh. Body parts? So, okay. Uh, I, I guess it's confirmed now that um, these are body parts. <laughs> Yay. How fun. Uh, ha have fun sleeping tonight. Anyways. This is the stock standard version. Smiling face, determined expression, Radiator Springs paint job. Beautiful. Nightly McQueen paint job. Awesome. All right. If you want, it's kind of reminding me of Chogokin Lightning McQueen. You can take off the mouth plate and you can put this classic one from Cars 1. I love it already. Oh, it gets better. You may not be able to put the Cars 1 lightning bolt. I mean, it's Mattel. Do you really think they care? <laughs> nope. However, at least it gave you the freedom to take this off. And you can put the Cars 1 spoiler on. Fantastic. Yeah, the sticker's a little crooked, but nah. Who cares? And you basically now have a Cars 1 McQueen without the rusty sponsorships except right there stop ruining our childhoods ah bro it wasn't me it was mattel because they put body parts on the packaging they said body parts on the packaging so technically it wasn't me i'm just a messenger it was mattel I i'm just a messenger best of all you can do this bear to the brim and you can slap on these parts and turn them into McQueen from the shorts um air mater yeah that one fantastic and then I guess we'll put this mouth right there and you can put on these visor goggles Kachow, I guess. I mean, it looks funky, obviously.
because of, I mean, look, look, look at that. This McQueen obviously doesn't have any sponsorship, so, you know, it looks a little wacky, but, you know, back then they cared. Back then you'd be able to change the hood. No, not today. Not anymore. But then again, it's kind of like a soul for a soul. If you wanted to change the side panels, you'd have to give up one thing, which was the hood. Because back then you couldn't change the side panels on the Cars 1 version, but you could change the hood. So I guess Mattel pretty much says, you, wanna, you want one thing, you're going to have to sacrifice the other. You can't have both. Okay, chill, Mattel, chill. I'm going to turn them into the Cars 1 version. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something wacky. I'm feeling wacky. Wacky like Mattel's decisions up at corporate. I want whatever they're on. <laughs> no, it's not a side panel. It's his body parts. <laughs> In a nutshell, yeah, that's what they're saying. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. Oh, wait, it can get better. Oh, he's got an angry expression. Now, this thing is coming for you at night. Yeah, that's, that, that didn't sound too great, did it? it? Stays on pretty well, though. What other wacky thing can we do? Oh, I know what we can do. Well, if I had the goggles, I would do that. But we can do this. It's not my shirt. <laughs> it's my shell. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That's great. That's a good one. McQueen looks like he's on drugs. <laughs> does he now? What? Wait, if wheels count as legs in the Cars universe, does that mean in the pits they cut off their legs to put on new ones? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. In a sense, I guess that's... Ah. <laughs> I guess that yeah, in a sense that's that's what pretty much happens, I guess. Man, he squeaks a lot though. Oh wait. Bolt said not really. No, you know what? I think you're right though. Cause they take off the tires. Wouldn't that be equivalent to shoes? And then the axles being like their legs? So they're just changing the the shoes? So four pair two pairs of shoes? Four shoes? He a mouse. <laughs> so is the spoiler a tail? Huh. I don't know. I, I genuinely... D Bro, we're, we're questioning cars logic. <laughs> upgrades, people. Upgrades. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fun. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're getting into the deep anatomy of freaking cars. I think... Yeah, pretty much Jay Ward and Brian Feed all the time... I think they've confirmed this. They've said they they've come to these questions. They know about them. They're all, they're aware of them, but they try not to, you know, think about it too much. Because if you think about it too much, it destroys the charm the the franchise has. And I I gotta agree with them. It does somehow. Uh, but hey, look at that. Somehow he turned back into his normal version. He was so weak. I mean weak, uh, wacky. My bad. And somehow he turned back into his normal form somehow cars iceberg bro loki i want to do a video like that but i need someone to make the iceberg and then i could narrate it i wouldn't mind doing something like that i feel like that would be fun get some creepy music make it like a creepy pasta type of thing cars iceberg the bottom in 2015 mattel released the uh, go buddy lightning mcqueen Strangely enough, the McQueen promoted twerking, and it was inappropriate for little kids because the Lightning McQueen would start twerking on your very own home. After which, the Lightning McQueen would say, Go, buddy, encouraging you to continue and going deeper and deeper into his soul. Okay, that sounded terrible. I don't want to say that ever again. All right, so now another flea market find. It is the Cars 2 plush Lightning McQueen. I've been looking for this one for a while, and here he is. And this one's chubby. I mean, he pretty chubby. He pretty he he's he's just built different. Come on, give him a chance. He can lose weight. You just gotta believe in him. Give him give him time, give him time, and in in no notice, like he will he will lose weight. Trust me, he's just got a few extra pounds. 
He's been putting on some weight ever since Sally passed away. I know, people. It's not canon. But that's why they're called fan films. So stop getting mad at me for the ending of Racing Like a Hero. All right. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much just a plush. I mean, I can sleep with this boy. But not really. I don't really do that. All right. So, uh, I'm a little... Okay, I know I'm going to open this one. This one, I know I'm going to open. But I need people's opinion on this one. I got this one on eBay. I know this one is rare. Rare, rare, rare to the bottom bone. Somehow this thing is somehow rare from a movie a lot of people hate. Not everyone hates it, I know. But a lot of people hate it. Somehow Cars 2 Mech is rare AF. I don't understand why. But it's rare. And it's from Walmart. And it was 15 bucks. And I was like, I have never seen this go for store price on eBay. Of course, I jumped on it because I've been wanting the Cars 2 one so badly to complete my Mac collection from Mattel. But I, I was like, you know what? In the live stream, I'm going to ask for people's opinion. I don't know if I want to open it or not. Maybe if I can find one used at the flea market, then I can keep that one open and this one in box. But I... I don't know. I just need people's opinion. I, I just need people's opinion. So starting with Poly World Over, he says, uh, keep it in box. D-Day Jedi says, open the boy. Or open that boy. Open. Keep it in package until you find it in the... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of with you on that one. Because maybe the flea market might miraculously have one loose for like five bucks. I just got to look, honestly. Open Mac. Don't open it. Don't open. Do not... Do it. Open, open, keep it in box. Open Mac, open. Bloopers. Oopsies. <laughs> Maybe open it, but I suggest to keep it. Keep it closed. Keep it in package. It's pronounced poly. Oh, my bad. Poly. Um, open, 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 open. Don't open. Yes, keep it in box until when you find an already open one. Seems very diverse. Uh, the device. Uh, don't do it. Open it. It's nice in the box. Yeah, it is nice in the box. But then again, I... I mean, let, let me look at my Mac collection. There's the collection right over there. I was planning to put it, like, right there. But if I keep it in the box, where am I going to put it? There? On top of them? I don't know. Yeah, guys, I, I really don't know. For $15, it was a steal. That's why I'm kind of like... Should I open it? Should I not? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's such a rare item. Don't open it. It's not worth it. Don't. I mean, true. At the same time, it's not. It's really not worth it because I'm gonna open it for just what five seconds on the live stream, and then after that's gonna end up in my collection, co co like covered in dust. All right. I'll wait for five more votes to come in, and I will decide. Oh, Piston Cub Dynaco Lightning McQueen says, "Open the Mac." Polly World Over says, "Open." That's two for open. Let Mac live. I don't know what that counts. That probably means open. Disney Cars 101 says leave it in package. I'm getting a lot of opens. Okay, how about this? Do you guys think, would you guys be happy if I just look at him from inside the box? I mean, it's got clear panels. I can look, him in, look at him in the box. I really want to look at him though, in person. Okay, you know what? I think, I think I've decided I'm going to keep it in the box for now. Maybe down in the future, if I find one loose at the flea market, I'll, you know, I'll review the used one because there won't be any need to open this one. But for now, I'll keep it sealed and I'm going to review it for you guys in the box from the panels where I can. I hope you guys agree with the decision but yeah yeah I, I mean i've just been wanting this mac for so long and that's like the first time i've ever seen it whatever floats your boat pcp yeah all right thank you at least i have some people supporting me thank you Alrighty, let's get to it then open load open and load race car inside don't you mean mcqueen vehicle sold separately Mac Holler. Mm, I mean, I can already see 
he has the same expression as the regular Mac. The decal that's only different really is the one on the side right there. The little 95 bolt right there. And of course on the side you have this whole sticker with the Cars 2 paint job of McQueen. Ah, it just looks amazing. This is one of my favorite paint jobs for Mac. Ah, it's so tempting. Rusty is proud sponsor of Team Lightning McQueen. And then the Hudson Hornet logo. Ah, it's just a beauty. Yeah, I'm starting to see why this is so rare. It's such a nice one. Look at the, the artwork. Yes, I know it has the same um, expression as the Cars 1 McQueen on the Cars 1 Mac. But at least you can still see the new paint job on there. That's what counts. And Rusty's on the top right there. And then on the back, did they really only have the Wally Hauler at the time? Seriously? I know someone will let me know. If so, that's very disappointing if they only had two haulers for Cars 2. And even then, this doesn't even appear in the movie. This is just fictional. Hauler opens. Tool chest, air compressor. Vehicle sold separately. Yeah, back then, Target used to have them with a pity and... The actual vehicle, they were exclusive there. I think I had the Mac version of that set, or the Kings? One of those two I had from Target, from the Piston Cup Night series, I think that's what it was called. 2011 Copyright Mattel. <sighs> what a beauty. I really hope I can find one at the flea market used. I don't care if it's chipped. I really don't. Maybe the sticker can be creasing off a little bit, I don't care. I just really want to actually hold this one. Because it looks, ah, it is amazing. It really is a great one. I love it. Okay, that's enough for Mac. Before I start getting more tempted to open it. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does turn 10 this year. All right. So here we have the Sidewall Shine Hauler. No name for him. So uh, there's an old Walmart sticker. Sidewall Shine. I thought I had this one, but I don't. I have, who do I have that's yellow? No, I think I don't. I'm thinking of Trunk Fresh, I think. Am I? Let me look down on my... Yeah, Trunk Fresh and Leakless. Leakless, there we go. That's the one I have. Leakless. They just look so similar. Somewhat from a far distance. But Hotters opens two sides. All right, we'll open this one. We'll open this. Hey, no easy open? Oh, no, it is there. You just... It's not enforced. It's not, There's not a huge bubble right here that says easy open. Typical PCP, always being so basic and boring. Oh, and typical you, always complaining about my amazing content. Don't hate on my game. Just doing what I care and like to do for the fans. For the supportive ones, at least. Now I know why I get so many dislikes. It's because people get ticked off if I, you know, I can't please one person and everyone gets ticked off. Or that one person gets ticked off. So like, you know, even when I decide to do something that's for my own goodwill, one person manages to get ticked off. And I find it funny. I find it as an opportunity to kind of just put them in their place in a sense. You respect what a person decides. Okay. And I think that's why YouTube is so toxic nowadays. People don't respect decisions or anything. Or even call you out. Jeez. Heck, I mean... I certainly got the respect at my school when I came out and said that I like cars. I said I like cars. No one saw me differently. No one judged me. Maybe one... Yeah, there was like one or two people who hated me. But if the majority of the people are, are happy, then who cares about that one or two people who are just hating on you? Just move on and continue with your happy life. Oh... Oh, I see. No wonder. Because I was like, I thought your username was McFrozen Nuggets. That explains it. Yeah. Typical YouTube. They take down stuff for the most stupid, stupidest reason, honestly. I got a video a few days ago marked as for kids. I think it was one of my store hunts. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what happened. But basically, I got a hunt video marked as for kids that was released, I think, early in this year. And got marked as for kids... But they didn't watch the whole video because I cuss in the video. I say shit. 
and I don't understand why they would mark that as for kids. And I contacted YouTube. I told them the exact timestamp when I cuss because the, the only reason why I cuss in my videos is so that I don't get that BS from YouTube. And even and I was like, so you're telling me even when I cuss to avoid this, you're still going to mark me as for kids? So now what? A video with cussing is going to appear on YouTube Kids? I told them that and it got quick in an instant. Like quickly in an instant changed back to normal. And I was like, huh? Y'all didn't watch the whole video then. <sighs> YouTube is... Something else. This one looks nice, though. I like it. Whoa, those stickers, uh, they got them wave checks. Thankfully, it's not marked as for kids anymore. Um, but yeah, I got it changed back to as to not for kids. But, you know, I know a lot of people think that the cussing is uncomfortable for them yeah you know i understand i really do trust me i'm not a fan of it myself i've been trying to cuss less in the videos <laughs> i mean not this live stream this live stream i was cussing because i was really pissed about the go buddy mcqueen that's what i'm gonna call it now but um i've been trying to cuss less if you watch my tomica reviews that i released recently i cussed like maybe just once one word i'm trying to cuss less because i don't really feel comfortable with it whenever i cuss I know I'm being forced. I, well, I'm not being forced. No one's forcing me. But it feels like I'm forced to say it. Otherwise, I'll be marked as for kids. Um, do you go to school? I, not physically. I went virtual all year this year. Um, I'm on summer vacation already. I got out on... What's today? Saturday? Yeah, so yesterday, right? No, today's Monday. My bad. Yeah, so on Friday, I, it was my last day of school officially. So, yeah, I'm out for school. I'm on summer break. Um, gonna grind on YouTube, hopefully. Of course, I got to get some rest for sure. Uh, but yeah, there's the holler. Nothing too extreme or fancy. Just, um, I really wish these were painted. They're just stickers. And there's a perfect example. Stuff like this happens. It doesn't look good. PCP, how was cars then? Well, I was 13 at the time. I loved it. I felt like I was right in the movie. I really wish I recorded a video that day. But thing is, I only had like... Bro, I don't even think I had 100 subscribers when I went to Cars Land. Hence why I didn't record any video. All I recorded was Snapchat video, but not an official video. So that's why maybe in the future, you know... If things get better, if I travel soon in the future. Right now, I don't have any traveling plans. But since it's summer, I mean, I could plan a trip. Um, maybe when I graduate. So 2022, I really want to go to Disneyland for my graduation. Um, maybe I'll go to Cars Land and for sure record at least maybe two videos. One of hunting and one of the actual park. Maybe a third one of just Disneyland and Disney California Adventure alone. Because, man, when I went, I loved the parks. Honestly, the memories are going to stay with me forever. And I really want to go back and buy those exclusive die casts there. I'm talking about the, the Radius Springs ones and the little tractors. I didn't buy those. All I have is two Rollick and Roadsters. And it's one in red and one in blue. Yeah, that's the only ones I bought. Yeah, anyways. All right, so this is the last flea market score. This was $10. And it's a shake and go Mac. And basically, you know, you can detach this, right? Nothing special. He's got rubber and i say quote unquote rubber tires it's not rubber is it okay i'm just quote unquote rubber tires it doesn't talk or anything nothing special it's licensed 2007 because this was released for cars one as well in the cars one paint job yeah i know both of my jen mcqueen videos were marked as for kids and i tried telling them they're not for kids they didn't listen anyways here is the hauler and you know it's very different from this one right here this one actually has cars 2 mcqueen's artwork right there everything else though is there they just changed the promo so what do you guys prefer that promo right there or that one right there i'll be honest i'm sort of leaning towards this one i think oh you don't see that on youtube every day it's a little bizarre huh um yeah <laughs> it's missing a door i'm assuming is it supposed to have a door I don't know. Anyways, 
Yeah, I, I like it. The best part, though, it opens up. Yeah, and it turns into this ramp. Yeah, I really like that artwork, too. So this one I got last month in last month's unboxing. But basically what you do, this is the cool part. You might be thinking, oh, you shake him. The moment you lay him on the ground, he's going to shoot forward, right? Nope. Watch this and let the magic happen. So, now what do we do? You have to press this button and three, two, one, let's go. Ew! And he just shoots forward. I like it. I don't know how, somehow, it, <laughs> that's cool. How he doesn't just go flying off until you hit the button. It, it's, it's so weird. I think it's because of this, this little tab right here. And I think it came into a big play with play sets from the um, shaking goes back in the day. This was definitely a big um, necessity, I'm guessing. And especially these two tires as well with springs. The moment they hit down, Boy, I make this look easy. he'll start running. But I don't understand. When he's here, the wheels are pressed down, right? The wheels are pressed down. This is pressed down as well, too, because of the floor right here. So how, how is it not going? It is so weird. I don't understand. Because the moment you hit it, it just shoots forward. That's weird. Cool technology, I will say. Best part is you can store them inside. And Mac is good to go. Oh wait, how do you open this again? There we go. There we go, he's off. All right, hooked up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the very last thing. After this, we're pretty much done. Um, sorry if the live stream was very lengthy. There's just, there was, I think this was my biggest hunt or scores ever or yeah biggest scores ever or haul my bad that's the right word and then i'll show you guys at the very end the late night talk with pcp segment but basically we got this helmet from hjc it is a oh look you can see my reflection hey guys so look at this thick boy it's a motorcycle helmet i don't know how motorcycle helmets work i really gotta investigate but it's from cars 3 this lifts up. I, yeah, you, you can pretty much see my eyes. I don't have a motorcycle. This is mostly just a prop for my car. I want to put this in the trunk along with a, like a little piston cup. But just the, the detail of this helmet is incredible. It looks great. The paint is so crisp and clean. And there's a Jackson Storm version of this one too. Look at the little speckles of paint, little fleckle or speckle paint, whatever it's called. The 95, that looks amazing. What else? Oh, the spoiler. Little spoiler right here. Neat. They didn't have to do this, but they did. <laughs> it's a little funny looking, but it's cool. And I don't know what these are for. Anyways, that's the helmet. Let me turn it around to the bottom. It's like when, Oh, you have these little air vents too right here. I guess that's what those are. And I have no idea what this is either. I, I don't know. Look at that right there. That looks great. I haven't worn it. Or I haven't put it on yet, but... Alrighty, let me just show you guys the box real quick. There's the box that came in. That's it. I unsubscribe. Cool. I don't need haters on here. Very nice. HJC. Cool. And then you open it up, and it has this bag where you can store it. It's like a little, little... See, there we go. We lost a sub, but we got a new sub. Piston Cup Danico Lightning McQueen. Welcome. Look at the bag it comes in. Fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Cars 3 logo. The best part is that, you know, they didn't have to make this, the company, HJC Helmets. But the fact that 
we have collabs like this with real companies out there linked with cars oh that's just amazing that that just makes me happy seeing stuff like this that exists i mean we got the new balance shoes we got the nascar diecast with mattel we have the nascar paint jobs that have appeared officially in nascar by other racers or drivers that are painted to have like a mcqueen or cars 3 sort of look to them um, i know that's a thing and now you have this helmet right here from hjc which looks very elegant i gotta say anyways that's pretty much it for the toys or collectibles or die cast, whatever. We're going to pretty much just wrap up with a segment of late night talk with PCP. Let me just open up my computer here. All right. First thing we got on the list is a new five pack, which is going to be exclusive to Target. Yeah, this is going to be exclusive to Target, no doubt, because they have the Welcome to Radio Springs line. Well, in the United States, at least it's going to be an exclusive and it has this plastic sign it has sheriff wingo mcqueen dj i don't like that it has mcqueen oh did i say five pack my bad it's because whenever i see packs like this i think five pack they honestly should have put snot rod or this was an opportunity to make them all have dirt on the wheels with a dirt base nope they didn't it's just a bunch of vietnam variations with a sign that's Pretty much luring me in. Oh shoot! Are you seeing my side notes? Ah, oh, damn it! Um, uh, don't, don't 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 worry about that. Don't don't worry about that. It's nothing important. Don't worry about that. You you didn't have to read that. <laughs> nah, no, no, that's that's nothing. All right. I oh, am yeah, boost isn't in this either. Rip. Yeah, they didn't have to put McQueen, but it's just Mattel shoehorning McQueen. <laughs> All right, there you have um, the Francesco launcher. That, okay, everyone's excited about the, vid the, the videos that are getting linked on my notes now. Um, there's a Francesco launcher coming out. Kind of eh on it. Because, I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. Normal Vietnam car, probably, or Thailand. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, there's the back of the box for the Welcome to Radio Springs 4-pack. Four, four die casts, five accessories, a sign, and four cones. Um, then here's that 11 pack I was talking about earlier. I have all of them now, except no, I think I do have all of them. Re-release of My Name Is Not Chuck and McQueen With The Tongue and the Vinyl Tupé car as well. Same goes for this one right here, the Blue Piston Cup fan. It's a great pack. Honestly, you guys should definitely get this one if you don't have many of these. I know a lot of people for sure are going to have the King and Chick, but if you need replacements, I definitely recommend this pack the artwork is cool too it has a cars one image as well um what did i tell you guys i think what did i say in my spring 2021 case g unboxing did i say something about the poster ha 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 here it is it's been leaked and um you know to avoid zooming in credit of course all the photos have credit so here we go these are the new releases for the rest of 2021. So when they're released, look forward to these reviews. Uh, we got the Rusty's Janitor, Rusty's Racing Center Janitor. Um, I forgot his first name, but his last name I think is Hurry. Uh, Pam's, um, no, Sweet Teas. There we go. Sweet Teas, other band member. Um, the Clutch A Tractor. Disney, <laughs> Disney Store did this a long time ago. Y'all are behind, Mattel. Another classic racer. That looks nice. This is nice as well. This is neat as well. More background characters. Perfect. They are perfect for videos. If you like doing stories, these work. Always. Uh, this is a bit of a strange one, but this has been lurking around for a while now. Hot Rod Steve Herschel. And I'm guessing maybe it's going to link up to this right here. Mummy, Luigi, and Guido. So I guess like a Halloween theme. Only two releases though. That's a little weird. Would have expected like I'm a queen knowing Mattel. Oh, spoke too soon. What is this? We'll get to that. All right, so we got Mattel trying to make a quick buck. They're re-releasing the same Chris Rebstovsky again. But instead of a green flag, just repainting it yellow. Bam. Easy five bucks. For them, by just repainting a flag. Um, then the racing reds are amazing. Um, Cruiser Mirrors looks great. 
silver instead of blue for the identical logos. It looks amazing. Francesco, I thought he was going to look weird, but he looks really good. Instead of green, he has black. And it works. It looks really good. Where's the Francesco from earlier? Here he is. All these green parts right here, they are now in black. It's kind of reminding me of the carbon fiber or carbon racers Francesco from back in the day from the t rock series. I'm getting those vibes for sure. But it looks really nice though. I like it. It looks nice. And it's going to be metallic. So it's like they combined Carbon Racer Francesco with Metallic Toys R Us Francesco. It's like those two had a kid, and that's what you get. Uh, this one, I'm not a fan of. I saw it coming. Um, ever since they revealed the Mini Racer for him. Actually, no, ever since they released... Uh, I'm sorry, ever since the list for 2021 diecast leaked from Trunk Fresh Green. Um, I forget his complete username. I think, well, I think it was in January or December when I talked about those leaked cars for 2021 i forgot but it was a list there was no pictures and we knew these racing red cars were going to come out and a gold mcqueen as well and i think this one appeared in there so when i saw these three getting revealed i wasn't surprised i knew cruz was coming i knew francesco was coming and when i saw mcqueen i was like why would you make mcqueen if there's already a scavenger 2018 metallic mcqueen but i know that one is from cars three so you know this is from cars one it's like oh okay cool Cars 1, but it's the Cars 3 mold, and everything is silver now. It, it kind of reminds me a lot of the Pixar Fest McQueen, to be honest, or the Cars Team 09 McQueen with a metallic paint job. It's weird. It seems like a quick money grab. I'm not a huge fan of it. Of course, I'll still review it. And of course, when the Mini Racer comes out, I'll review it as well. But it's like, come on. McQueen already had the golden release. Did you really have to? shove in another mcqueen you could have done finn holly mac i don't know uh who else have they not done lizzie um luigi and guido you could have done Flo. could have done sheriff uh you could have done maybe professor z maybe you could have done i don't know mm, who's another one trying to think maybe mini and van in a two-pack yeah some people are saying miles axelrod the the tuners all that stuff would have worked but um yeah dog there you go dog could have been work working as well dusty and rusty those would have worked too see people in the chat have better ideas than mattel acer and graham they could have done two packs they could have done deluxe it could have been a whole subline but i'm guessing we're just gonna get six only six new racing red cars uh, uh, all right. I mean, I, I'll still look for <laughs> Mattel's new slogan, re reduce, reuse, recycle. You're right. I I'm still looking forward to Cruz and um, Francesco, especially Cruz. She looks really good. But um, yeah, McQueen, my least favorite so far from the series. Uh, Mater's another really good one that was released already before. Sally looked great as well. Storm looked elegant as well. Um, this one looks great. Keep on getting B slash yellow jacket vibes from this paint job right here of this car it looks fantastic black and yellow i don't think i've seen that very often with cars that looks great uh this one i remember seeing on card already on a leaked photo not in stores yet though i went to, uh i went to target earlier today and there was nothing new yeah stores have been sucking recently the flea market and ebay have been my only saving grace for cars um, this one looks great. I'm getting hospital vibes from this one. Red and white. Um, honestly, I'm not excited for these two. Hear me out. Well, no, I'm excited for this one. Experiment Next Gen. Uh, we've seen them in packaging already. I'm just not excited for this one because Tomic has released one already. I'm sure they're going to look a little bit different, but it, at first glance, it looks, if not identical, to the Tomica one in in terms of expression and everything and even the color oh yeah cal weathers as a racing red would have worked as well uh but yeah i'm not for some reason i don't know why i'm not excited for this one maybe in person that might change Ooh, racing red rich mix and that would have been cool um anyways this is weird i wasn't expecting 
Yeah, they're running out of names. This one's called Eric. I know it's based off of the real NASCAR driver's name. But the last name's a little weird. Um, I don't know why Retread is blue now instead of purple. But then again, that's like saying, why did they go from this color to this color? I mean, you can't really complain. Next gen is next gen. They're, of course, they might change up some colors. Uh, but yeah, moving on from Cars Mainline stuff and all that Mattel stuff. Uh, as far as the Disney Plus series go, this is the only update we've got so far. It's just this right here. It's a, pair, a pack of stickers. There's a mater right there. Let me see. Yeah, there's a mater right there with uh, a cowboy hat and a Carrera County Fair photo op with McQueen. And there's these little plush McQueens next to Mater right there with a uh, truck driver cap on. Those little plush McQueen toys. We haven't seen those since, gosh, the first movie in McQueen's Holler in Mac. And then you have the um, tractor with a number one first place ribbon on there. And you got a new promo of Mater eating lug nuts <laughs> as popcorn. Oh my goodness. They eat. So they actually eat. Okay, we're not going to question the logic once again. And now we're going to get on to uh, Disneyland in Paris. There's been a lot of updates. There was news about a statue from a queen. He's been completed. And there's a Luigi and Guido. I wasn't expecting that, but wow, they really are going above and beyond for this Paris the protraction or little cars, mini cars land in Paris, Disneyland. It looks incredible. I love it. The expressions, the eyes, the colors, the shape of the statue. It looks great. Uh, this is... The best way you can honor McQueen for the 15th anniversary, honestly. Oh, is that why they're doing this right, aren't they? For the anniversary. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Take that back. Because this was planned for 2020 to open, but it was pushed back because of the car virus. I'm not going to say the word. Um, there's going to be like, you know, the Incredicoaster in California Adventure? It had like these um, little clips or video clips playing in the queue when you're waiting in line. They're doing that for this car's ride, road trip ride. Um, but now you got Sally and Cruz. Nice dynamic. I've been wanting to see that. It's finally there. We're going to see some sort of it. Um, it's going to be called Cars Road Trip, which in a sense is going to link up, I guess, possibly maybe to the Disney Plus series. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just the whole road trip name title of this uh, ride is giving me a lot of vibes to the fact that the TV show is confirmed to be about a road trip as well. Hmm. All right, so these are looks now at the attraction inside. The Mater has been finished, the statue. There's another picture of Cruz and Sally talking. There's a different position of them talking there. Yes, the dynamic is going to be great between these two. I, mean, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be great. And there's, of course, the Danico tanker truck completely finished he looks great i'm getting mac vibes from that expression i'm, I'm gonna be honest <laughs> um i'm a little curious why they didn't do this semi right here why did they go for a mac hauler why? why why did they it's a little weird looking if i'm gonna be honest the tower looks great though that looks great the color of blue looks mwah, chef kiss um, but that's pretty much it. The rest of the pictures at the bottom were my notes for the video. Oh, wait, no, I have one more thing for you guys. A video of the ride. Um, it's muted because of copyrighted music, but here we go. Well, we're going to go frame, in, by, frame by frame because I kind of want to... Wait, can I not pause? Okay, there we go. I want to analyze this if I can. There we go. We can analyze this. All right, so this is the entrance to the ride. It says Cars Road Trip, and then you got... Uh, McQueen on the logo right there on the little Route 66 um, logo right there. That looks great. I'm loving it. The chrome finish to the Cars logo looks amazing as well. What else do we got? These are the cars that are going to transport you as well inside the ride. And it looks like Cruz and Sally are inside the tram. So I'm guessing you're going to be traveling with Cruz and Sally as the ride goes on. And I'm mistaken then. I'm guessing... Well, I had assumed that the Sally and Cruz dynamic um, queue was going to be for the queue wait line over here. But I guess you're going to be watching them as you're in the ride. I guess they're going to link up to the stories like, hey, guys, follow us along. We're going to take you around Route 66 and to see all the sites. Bro, that's going to be freaking cool. 
That is going to look amazing. That, that's going to look amazing. It's like Sally and Cruz are going to be talking with you throughout the whole ride. That's amazing. I, I love that idea. Yeah, you see them. They're moving on the screen right there. They're talking as you arrive to the queue. Maybe they're saying something like, please take all your belongings and blah, blah, blah before exiting to the right on your left or on your right. Ah, I think I see what they're doing here. Please, <laughs> I might be wrong, but I'm hoping it's, they didn't just bring in Cruz because her actor can speak Spanish, Crystal Alonso. So they have Sally say, please take all your belongings and step to the right side and have a great day here at Disneyland Paris. And then they have Cruz translate. Gracias por venir al ride de cars en Disneyland Paris. Por favor, agarran sus cosas y salgan a, a la derecha. Bro, what? <laughs> I hope they're not just using Cruz for that. Please, no. I don't know. How did they? Oh, yeah, they used Ramon for Cars Land. And they used Sheriff as well. They used Sheriff and Ramon when you would get off the ride on Radiator Springs Racers. And I think at Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, I think they also had Ramon. And Sa no, they had, McQ I think, Mac, Mater, and Ra No, Mac, Mater, and Sally in English telling you to grab all your belongings and Ramon in Spanish telling you to grab your belongings your belongings yeah please don't do cruise like this where you're just gonna use her for dialogue to say hey get off the ride in Spanish <sighs> please I, I hope not I really hope she appears in the Disney Plus series they gotta build on that character arc you know after especially after she won in Florida I want to see what happened after you know and not the Miss Fritter racing short more than that please um here's the Mater statue his eyes move. It's not like the Disneyland one where this little hubcap or cap moves. And the mouth doesn't move. It's a lot more basic, but it looks nice. And of course, you got the fire in the ride. While wow, this guy just smiles in pain as he sees that he's about to literally burn up. Look, he's just smiling and shaking. He's like, help me. I am stuck here with rivets and I'm about to die. No, don't, don't just look at me and laugh. I'm about to burn up and die in here. Look at him. Poor thing. If this fire catches with this tanker up back here, if he's carrying fuel, oh, he is, huh, he's dead. <laughs> he's not living. He, <laughs> this is going to be his last appearance. He's going to die. Oh, look, more identical cans back there. Or down there, my bad. Other than that, that's all we've seen for the ride. I mean, just look at the mountains. I'm getting serious Carsland vibes. They're, they did a fantastic job with this. Great job. Yeah, he's just smiling through the pain. Look at him. He's shaking. He's begging for mercy. Spare his life. He's asking for it. And he's just going to get submerged in water. <laughs> and, then, and then Cruz and Sally and the ride are going to be like, Oh, hey, Mr. Truck. <laughs> what are you doing? How are you doing? Have a nice day. All right, guys. If you proceed, we'll go to the next mountain. <laughs> this guy's just going to be burning up while Cruz and Sally are giving the tour. Rip. They left my boy to die. All right. And that's pretty much it for the clip. Oh man, what a fun live stream. I actually had fun. I'm a little... My, my, my voice is a little sore. And it's mainly because of the... <laughs> the anger, rage quit thing that happened. With Go Buddy Lightning McQueen. Pissing up Reckless, who is your favorite character from Descendants 3? Um, new that, that would be new character, right? Well, I'm not sure. But favorite characters from all three, I'd say... Mal, Evie, Carlos, Jane, and Harry, and Dizzy, and King Ben for sure. Yeah, those are some of my favorites. It reminds me of the, this is fine meme. <laughs> yup, pretty much. Guy speaking Spanish. <laughs> Alrighty, well I think we're pretty much done for this live stream. I just of course got to show the aftermath. Because, you know, people are... I know a lot of people like this stuff when I show what everything looks like when I'm finished. Of course, I take it off the tripod. Then I pan up. And I show you guys the huge mess. There we go. Whoa. Do you think you're going to... Um, not really. I want to put it over there. Yeah. I think I'm going to put it there next to those color changes and Big Al. Yeah, probably. If I open it, if it's because of the wings. I'm not really sure of where to place them because they take up so much space. 
from like inbox it'll just kind of just slide perfectly in there so that's why i'm just kind of like eh i'll just display it like that pat pat Alrighty, well that's gonna be pretty much it for this live stream everyone and uh, i hope you all enjoyed it let me know uh, i'm gonna leave the live stream up of course so you can go back and rewatch it for those of you who got here later um but to everyone who was here thank you very much and thank you for everyone who donated uh for the super chats and everything and for the kind words and um i'm gonna be pretty much signing off now i gotta basically when i'm done with live streams this is what i do i clean up put the table under the bed disinfect some of the stuff disinfect the bed because this stuff is dirty this is dirty stuff you gotta disinfect you gotta clean i'm kind of germaphobic i guess in a sense and off to the shelves they go to be admired anyways thank you all so much for watching business productions signing off and have a